All right, I'm going to try to make this fast because I only have 15 minutes of gameplay, and I don't know how long it's going to take. All right, so you, just by reading the title of the video, you know what this is about, uh, which faction would win in, uh, in Fallout 4. Uh, this is going by without the player's help, so imagine the player didn't... Well, okay, imagine the player just stayed inside the vault. That, you know, he's still on cryostasis or he got shot as soon as he left or something. He, like, drank bleach. Um, so, we're going to go through this faction by faction. Let's eliminate the first two first. The Minutemen, obviously, they lost. They have no hope. They, when you first meet them, they start off in the Museum of Freedom and they're outgunned by raiders and a death call. Spoilers. Um, so, you know, they're pretty screwed. Um, oh yeah, by the way, this has a lot of spoilers, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, this would have spoilers, that's kind of sad. Um, I don't, okay, um, the next faction is, uh, I'm reading this off my blog, so that's why I might go sign it for a second. The next faction is the Railroad. Um, when you first meet them, you know, there's only like 20 people or something like that, probably not even that. Um, they're pretty screwed as it is, too. Um, they're underground, the Institute could just teleport in, kill them all, the Brotherhood, I don't remember how the Brotherhood actually learns their location, but, you know, the Brotherhood could easily overwhelm them, um, they only, when you go down to destroy the railroad for the Brotherhood, they only send in, like, two or three soldiers, they're just, and I don't think that they're even wearing power armor, I think, like, one guy has power armor, the other two are just unarmored grunts, like, that goes to show you how weak the railroad is. Um, so then it's the Institute of the Brotherhood. The Institute's only advantage is that they're underground and that you have to teleport to get down there. Um, or, you know, blow a hole in the ground. That, that'll work too. Uh, we're actually cutting through this actually fast. Maybe I talked too fast. Um... So the way that you learn how to get to the Institute, obviously, is through Kellogg. You take out the thing from his brain, and then you go to the memory den and stuff. So, you know, then you go to um, to see Virgil, and Virgil tells you how to build the freaking portal thing. Now, that would be kind of hard for the Brotherhood to do. And... Uh, the Brotherhood's advantage is that they are a militaristic organization with a ship that you can actually see right now um, on their ship. They have lots and lots of soldiers. They have lots of guns, lots of Gatling lasers, something the Institute doesn't have. You know, the Institute only has rifles. So, you know, the fact that the Brotherhood has Gatling lasers and miniguns goes to show you that, you know, their guns kind of one up the institute. Um, the institute does have synths, but a synth versus a brotherhood knight, you know, you can kind of see who would win there. Um, it's kind of like Star Wars, the clones versus the droids, who would win, you know. Obviously, a clone would beat a freaking droid. Um, I've been saying, um, way too much. So, yeah, I mean... That's pretty much it for advantages. Now, in the Institute quest line, you find out that uh, this is going to be a major spoiler. So if you haven't beaten the Institute quest line, just click off. If you At the end of the Institute quest line, you find out Father has cancer and that he dies from it. The Institute's full of scientists. And all these scientists, if you talk to them all, they're always arguing and stuff over every little thing. And they always ask, once you become director, they always ask you for like, which one to choose to be right and whatever. Without leadership, they are going to go into straight anarchy. In fact, one quest, um, what's it called? Uh, I forget what it's called. But it's a quest where uh, the, whatever the frick, the food, the bioscience, the bioscience department area thing, they lock themselves in so that nobody else can get food. And they're doing this because they don't agree with you being director or whatever. But that goes to show you that they disagree so much with each other that they just cut off the food supply. And the only reason why the Institute got food back was because the player intervened. And this is after, well, I guess Father technically was still alive. But 
imagine if father had to go intervene, then that would just put everything else. Well, first off, it already put everything on, else on halt. That would just put it on further halt. Um, phase three, Jesus Christ, that was loud. Phase three was to go get um some freaking uh the freaking what the frick's it called? The Brotherhood needs your help. That God damn it. What was it called? The no, reactor thing. Nuclear brothers. reactor thing. To go get that. However, they wouldn't have had time to go get that if the bioscience department was locked down. And the Brotherhood would have gone there and gotten it. And first off, the Brotherhood already would have outgunned the synths either way. So when the Brotherhood went to go get the reactor, they would have took taken it anyway. Which would have then charged up Liberty Prime. So the Brotherhood already has Liberty Prime. So if the Institute was to go out into an all-out fight against the Brotherhood, they would lose. So, you know, that just goes to show you even more how sad it is. And the other thing is, they're scientists going against soldiers. And these aren't just random grunt soldiers. These are soldiers with scientific experience. Like, the Brotherhood's also sci not as scientific as the Institute, but pretty close. Like, they're so close that the Institute gives you quests to steal data from the Brotherhood. Because there's some things that the Brother knows that not even the Institute knows. Um, mostly things about weapons. But, you know, that goes to show you that they know stuff about weapons. Also, they have Prid one. They have the Prid one. You know, they have a freaking airship. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys like this video... Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to post another video later about why the Brotherhood isn't evil. And uh, all the reasons why they are actually the best faction to side with. Um, both morally, because um, they have the best for the Commonwealth, and because they have the best stuff for you, the player. So until next time, I'll see you.